as you are watching this today right but where have we arrived at as we have worked out this suffering and when you get into now the other point of spirituality spiritual path spiritual awakening right you first get into the humanity then you get into the divinity then you get into the universal consciousness you cross over these various levels on the continuum of consciousness now what happens you start to realize yes this really hurt me but as you start to de-layer yourself so you start to unpeel and deconstruct yourself so that initial pain and suffering or that pain and suffering depending on what point in your life you have experienced this leaves its imprint it leaves its mark when you go through your spiritual awakening that mark starts to lift off you start to work the mark off first and then you trace it back to that suffering itself because sometimes we don't realize that it is that wound that i'm still suffering from so one example if you suffered from sexual abuse right as a child you won't know that every other relationship that you have will practically be a continuation of that abuse whether or not it is in the same manner or not until and unless you come to a point where you have a profound awakening a profound realization now what happens when we unravel in this spiritual awakening gradually you get to a point where you realize the efficacy of the suffering which is where it has come to right now but apart from that once you worked it out there is a silent non attachment a silent detachment that starts to come inside of us because as we move from body consciousness into our spirit into our infinity one we realize that there is actually no suffering that has happened because i'm not the body all the pain i went through was a portal all the pain i went through came as a result of the ignorance that i harvested that i am just the body that i am everything that happens to me that i am everything wrong that happens that i am the pain that i am the suffering and that we are meant to suffer when our identity shifts so you go from i am this body right to the totality of you when you get this stage not only are you going to unravel these whole suffering right but you realize that you bought into it so if you like you can say that was my prarabdh karma so there is there are different types of karma right so this was something that i had to work out and the vessel through which it was worked out was exactly that suffering so that suffering became my vessel for growth became my vessel for transformation became my vessel to realize now when we are still going through the suffering and letting the suffering run its course then you may not even think the way that i've just suggested because it be very very difficult if not impossible for us at the time we are going through this immense pain to make sense of it right because sometimes we want to hold on to the pain so that we hold on to the memory of that right because there is also a guilt attached to when we suffer a bereavement that when i move on right does it invalidate their existence or does it mean that i don't love them or they were never here no Stay tuned for the second part 
to this. Lots of love. Be right back with you.